Chanel Second like Material, and welcome back to my channel. We are starting off a weekly vlog. No, weekend vlog. <laughs> um, it is Saturday morning, so I just got out the shower. This weekend, I'm basically going to um, just kind of like refresh or reset everything because 2023 has been a little bit hectic for me and not hectic like bad but like I've been traveling then coming back home to do, do intense work like I'm working on a grant funded research project right now so it's a real exciting project but like it's a lot of work um especially with like logistics and things like that <clears throat> And then, I think I see my last vlog, at a mall trip, there was like a suspected shooter and that was crazy. So it's been, 2023 has been crazy, y'all. And I also forgot to, not forgot, but I didn't get my weekly planner in time. So I, I use my weekly planner every day. So without having that, I feel like that impacted my organization of everything, like, Basically, um, I haven't been able to do a lot of things consistently and doing things consistently helps, you know, m my mental health. Like it, it makes me feel good when I'm consistently doing things. So anywho, um, I'm just gonna do some errands today, clean, make sure my place is looking good. I'm feeling good, so I'm definitely going to do some form of workout I don't know if I'm gonna do my stepper or do the trimmel. I don't know. We'll see. But I'm doing um, just getting myself together, and I'm going to go to the grocery store. So I really love going to the grocery store because I listen to things um, like while I grocery shop and run errands. So do anybody else do that? Comment down below if you run errands, you listen to things, whether that's like. A podcast or um, like a YouTube video or like a sermon from church anything like that um, because I definitely listen to things while I'm running my errands um, I, I don't know I just enjoy doing that but anywho I'm doing my skincare if you're new to my channel I have dry sensitive eczema prone skin and if you're not new to my channel like you know <laughs> so I'm doing um, my skincare I already have been did like two steps already so i put this wander beauty eye patch serum on there my eyes so i do use the patches which i love and they always have like excess serum in the package so like i keep that and every day i just dab a little bit under my eye i i feel like these this serum truly does work for me like I feel very refreshed after using it. Then I put my Sunday Rally Vitamin C Serum on. Like I love this serum, 10 out of 10. There was a time I stopped using it because I, for, I didn't reorder it, so I ran out and um, I had it, I didn't have it for like two weeks and I can tell my skin was getting a little dull or at least not as bright as I'm used to it being. Now I'm going with the ICE Sunday Rally Moisturizing Cream. It comes with this really cute um, pestle. So I just used some of that. You can't forget your neck, y'all. I was watching a YouTube video and then I can't remember which video was it was. It was, I think, yeah, it was, I, I can't remember. Um, and they were saying, don't forget y'all neck y'all. And I was like, oh my gosh, you can't. Because that's good up hair will be looking good and then your neck won't be looking as good. So your neck and your, and your hands can definitely show your age. I have to work on my hands because I work in healthcare and um, I hand sanitize a lot, a lot. And I have eczema on my hands too. So they're doing okay, but you can just see how dry they are. And I constantly moisturize, like, look at that. And then this is a 
eczema spot right here. Um, so I'm going to moisturize and they tend to go away if I consistently moisturize. But sometimes I just be at work and it's just like a lot to continuously moisturize my hand when I'm going in and out of patients room. So um, here is a Juno uh, oil from Sunday Rally. And um, I know I got some new subscribers. So if you're new here, I am a clinical pharmacist in the Amcare Sandy setting. So I see patients for chronic conditions and um, manage their medications to get them on the appropriate um, treatment that's, you know, best for them. I really love my job and I'm also, a part of that job is also being a clinical assistant professor. So I teach at a pharmacy school for a doctorate of pharmacy students. It's, a, it's I, I love my job a lot. I have some other videos that's, that talk more about it. So scroll down and check those out, y'all. Okay, so skincare is done. I can't forget my eyelids because sometimes I forget putting stuff on my eyelids and that's when I can see like my eczema like almost becoming a flare so I always have to remember like like I'll start getting dry and then if I constantly allow it to be dry then I have an eczema flare up okay let me drink my water because drinking water definitely helps my asthma my eczema okay I think I'm on um, track with my water. It's like 10 something right now. All right, going to lotion my body. I typically use this Curio Itch Defense, which I love. I'm actually going to put some on my hands right now. But I got this, um, I think this is pronounced CeraVe. I got one of the, um, you know, what is it called? Travel size moisturizing cream and I use it on my hands and my hands felt so good so I decided to get the big container I got this from Target y'all this was so expensive like it was more expensive to my, than my career I feel, my, feel like my Corel is between eight ten dollars I'm pretty sure this was between 10 and 20 so it might have been like I don't even know but just know it was like almost a double the price of this so I had to really, really like this product to make a switch from this because Corel has definitely been doing me well. Specifically, this itch defense has been doing me well for years. The other formulas, um, I haven't tried. Well, actually, there was one formula that was just basically their moisturizing lotion. It didn't hydrate my skin enough but this itch defense definitely gets the job done but i just wanted to try something different with this cerave and it's good y'all i like it 10 out of 10 and no fragrance okay y'all i'm all dressed up and ready to go jacket is from oak and fort i really love that detail on the back like that and then I have a long sleeve brown top on. My favorite black leggings to run errands in. My boots from ASOS. I got these a while ago. Um, they are no longer in stock. I'll link some from Urban Revival. I'm actually thinking about getting ones from Urban Revival because these, I, I wore these shoes to the ground, y'all. Actually, yeah. So. They last me for a while. I feel like I can still wear them, but I may need some, like, another pair to go, like, fresh. Because I run around in these ones. Um, bag is Amazon. cross it because I want to be hands-free today. I'm so excited to go to the grocery store. Like, I did my hair. I put my, one of my favorite running outfits, running errand outfits on. 
I'm going to go grocery shopping, listen to some things, and I, I feel like I'm getting back to myself. 2023 is looking good right now. <laughs> but yeah, this is the fit. Mm, I wanted to talk to y'all real quick about something too. Let me look y'all up. So, okay. Y'all, remember how I, my glasses are so dirty right now. But remember how I was doing the no spin January challenge? So, good news, when I went to Maryland, I didn't even spend that much money as I thought I was going to do. Like, I'm pretty proud of myself. So, y'all knew, y'all know that I was going to like take my, combine my $100 weekly funds into that one weekend so I can do some things. Because I went for my, my friend's birthday, so obviously I had to spend money. But because January has been like a little bit challenging for me, I've decided I'm going to stop the no spend challenge. Now, y'all, if y'all doing it, keep doing it, okay? Keep doing it. Um, just because I'm stopping it, you don't stop it. I'm doing this because I need to get stuff done. Not necessarily like I want to blow money fast. <laughs> like I want to, um, I want, I'm going to grocery store, even though that's, that's a necessity. But I want to go to Target. I want to buy um, like the little table that you get on a bed because I, if my old one fell on the floor and broke. It was like made out of acrylic. So I need to get another one. Like there's just some little things that I want to get. I also bought a top from Zara last night. So <laughs> that was definitely not essential. Um, I guess that could have been under my self-care. But... Either way, I made it this far for this month. Last year in January, I was so, so good. So I'm going to try again another uh, month of this year. But right now, I'm going to put a hold on it. But doing these challenges have put a lot in perspective for me. Like, it, it has allowed me to have, like, it basically gives me a second, makes me second guess or not second guess but really think about the things that i'm going to buy and specifically like clothes and shoes and stuff like that because that's all i really be buying for real i'm outside of the essentials and so yesterday when i was going through zara i had like five things in my cart and i'm like looking at it and looking at it and thinking about it and i'm like chiffon right now you're kind of like stress shopping and do you really think you're about the, what did I, are you really going to wear this off the shoulder? Um, what did, I think it was like one of those things that class at the bottom, um, off the shoulder bodysuit that has like, you know, the thong, <laughs> the thong behind. And in my mind, I'm like, girl, you not going to wear that because those things make you feel uncomfortable, y'all. I've tried to uh, wear larger sizes and those things like those thong um body suits but it's just very uncomfortable like it's uncomfortable for me so um usually when I wear them I never clasp them clasp them at the bottom so I was looking at it and I'm like and it was kind of like a little bit see-through so I'm like Shafar are you really going to wear that and then there was another store that I was shopping I think I was on Urban Revival and I was looking at this jean dress that was like long. Uh, it was like a midi dress. And although it's very, very cute, I was sitting there thinking like, where would I wear that? Um, do I, is it me basically? Is that dress me? And I was like, no, that dress isn't me. That's not something I would really wear and feel my best in. It was just something that was really, really cute, but it wasn't me. So, um, Spending my, doing this challenge has made me like really think about the things that I'm buying because I'm not swiping my card as fast as I normally would have done if I didn't do these challenges. So I'm pretty proud of myself. Yeah, I saved like $200 yesterday because I didn't buy all that stuff. I ended up getting two things in my cart instead of the five. So I got this cute bag and this top. So I'm going to show y'all when it comes. What the? 
I'm trying to put it in neutral. I know it takes a second. Okay. Got it? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, y'all. <sighs> this is so stressful. Like, I feel like, first of all, this man probably already knows Tesla's always take a second to get in neutral. But specifically for this car wash thing, because I think, like, the car tries to fix. Like, I'll say, like, something's happened. Y'all heard, heard those alerts. Like, no, I'm trying to do this on purpose. There's tracks under my car on purpose. <sighs> Some days I could do it real well, but most days I don't do it well at all. But I do appreciate, like, the car wash attendants being very patient with me. And they already know to stop the line. Like, every time I come in here, they're like, oh, the Tesla. <laughs> like, they, I feel like they be, they know about I guess specifically Tesla's be acting a weird way when it comes to this car wash thing. Here, y'all can see some stuff. All right, y'all. Hopefully, y'all seen some stuff. on this track that's underneath be stress, stressing my car out basically and stressing me out. At the grocery store y'all, I got all my vegetables and all that. But I wanted to show y'all this ice cream. It's a low sugar ice cream that I really, really do like. I got the sea salt caramel and then the Halo Top vanilla bean. So good. Y'all, I came into Michael's to get one thing, but look at this. A sale. Buy three canvases, get three free. Like, what the heck? This is what I came for. For my painting. My 3D painting. This is my favorite brand to paint with. Well, I don't know if it's my favorite because I haven't tried them all, but what I use. They are on sale. Buy one, get one 50% off. I'm thinking about using this like eggshell color. It's called titanium for my 3D painting that I'm doing now. Whenever I'm doing big canvases and I use these paints, I always use this blue aid to help thin out the paint. Works really well. Y'all, I'm feeling pretty good. Like, ugh, I'm so happy. Um. So I just got out of Michael's. Y'all, they was blasting music in there like it was literally the club. So I already knew I couldn't like film for a long period of time because, you know, copyright and stuff like that. The last time I filmed in Michael's without realizing my headphones, like my Apple AirPods, they were picking, they picked up every beat. <laughs> on that Christmas music so now I know but uh yeah I got what I needed to get I got the I ended up getting the paint and then I um got the mesh that I was looking for because I'm doing this 3d painting that I have to finish so and I love painting I just finish look I'm, I'm never in a rush to finish a painting because it's more therapeutic like I enjoy the process so yeah I am currently looking for a part because I'm going to go into Ulta I want to get this lip gloss, lip gloss from Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, and I have a gift card for Ulta so I'm going to use that is this a good park? Did I park okay? Mm -hmm. I'm inside the lines. Did I tell y'all I went to Starbucks? I went to Starbucks and got some red pepper egg bites. I was talking um, to my sister on the phone.
I'm looking around because you should always know your surroundings. <laughs> Y'all, I came in here for one thing and it's not here. This is a crime. But I wanted maybe this one. <sighs> I even tried to look online, but it's out of stock. This is the Amber Sparkle. Well, I tried Ulta. Maybe it's somewhere else. I don't know. Y'all, it's all in stock on Sephora and Anastasia's website. Like, what? Y'all, like, I'm devastated. This lip gloss is out of stock everywhere. I should have got it when I had to. But I know I was on my, I think it was no spin the last time I went to Ulta. I'm about to go in the pest mark to go to the bathroom. I thought about getting a bird job, but y'all know birds go to the bathroom and you have to clean it up. So I'm not getting one. But hey, little bird. Aw, I wonder if they need a friend in there. This, this one is empty. The other one has a lot of birds in it. See? So cute. Maybe this one is a loner. Like, you know, want to be by herself. Oh, wait, no. He does have a... Oh, no. That's two separate... I guess it is a cage, but cage just sounds so bad when you say cage. They have two separate homes. So cute. Okay, so then I thought about getting a turtle. And people said no because uh, they stink. And then to make them not stink, you have to clean their like, home often. And I don't know if I can do that. Um, I think this turtle is hiding from me, so I'm going to leave it alone. <gasps> oh, my. That turtle is huge. Do y'all see that? Oh my gosh, that's the turtle, y'all. But where is the body at? I don't see anything. I need, like, why would they put just put a shell in there? I'm sure it's not a shell. Um, I hope they're happy in here. Hopefully someone comes and takes these lovely animals home. Hey y'all, it's Saturday night. And like I said, I'm chilling this weekend. I'm just like, you know, doing a little reset. So I took a nap today and I watched the movie The Menu. I like I watched it. It's basically a dark comedy. I watched the movie until the end because I wanted to see the ending, but I didn't understand the point in the movie. I literally had to Google it. And now I understand the point in the movie, but it's just like, um, I could have passed on that one. <laughs> but I'm curling my hair because, I don't know, I just wanted my hair to be curled. And this past week, one of my friends was like, I don't know how to use a curling iron with the um the clip on there and i was like oh i'm jeezy girl what so i'm gonna show y'all how i do it so this is the curl iron curling iron i use this is from eap heat uh it's just like cute um white and rose gold so i have it set on 370 it can go up to i think it's 490 450 but I don't go over 370 typically, maybe 380, 390, but um, typically I use 370. So, uh, did I tell y'all I spray heat protectant? Um, this is the heat protectant I already sprayed on my hair. It's EAP Heat Bye Bye Frizz. I'm gonna link them in the description box, y'all. But I already curled this out of my hair, so I'm doing like loose curls. Um, I'm not gonna pull them apart just yet. I'm just letting them cool and kind of set. So you already know I wear a U part wig. So this is what you do with the little tab. You open it <laughs> and 
And then, oops, I wanna get this a little bit more straight. You open it, put it, I put, usually put it on the base of the hair and then run it down that, at least that much. And then I twist it. And this is the easiest way for me. I twist it and I continue to twist it until I get all the way to the base and I hold the hair out this way. I'm sure there's other ways to do it, but this is a way that's easiest for me. So I wait a couple seconds and then I continuously open this up. Like I open it up so it can loosen and I go down some more and then I twist it back up. So I'm no hairstylist y'all, but this is the easiest way for me to do it um, with the tabby things. And this gives me that, once I finger out all the curls, it's gonna give me a blowout look. And then I do the same thing. Like I hit the tabby thing, open it up so it gets to the end. And that way, I don't go all the way into the, to the end and roll it up. And doing little sections of, at the time of going down and then rolling up helps make sure there's heat applied to all of the hair because if I went all the way down and then rolled up, it's like this part of the hair wouldn't get as much heat as the end, end of the hair, and that would cause like heat, more heat damage. So I wanna protect this hair because I love this wig. This hair lasts me for so long. I like, I got hair from this company. So this is Snob Life hair. You already know, but look at that curl. <laughs> Do you see that curl? That's perfect. Um, so yeah, this is not life hair. And I love this hair so much. Like I've never gotten a bundle from the company that did me wrong. Like, and I've been wearing their hair, I believe since 2013. And I basically still have, I, I think I have all of the wigs that I had made out of the bundles from this company. And I always get the Brazilian Wavy. Oh, here, I'm showing y'all. See how I'm pushing on the clip? I always get the Brazilian Wavy. I haven't tried the other textures because I'm like, when I find something that works well for me, I'm not switching up. All right, so see how I'm just open it a little bit at a time and I'm holding the hair so I don't drop it. Be careful with y'all fingers, y'all. Y'all can wear a glove if y'all need to. I'm gonna hold it at the base. And then when I'm pulling it off, you can just pull it down. Or if you're gonna do this, wear gloves, y'all. I'm just putting my nails on it, so not my fingers. And like some people, they pin it so it can cool in this state. But I'm gonna just let it drop. Cause I just want it, I want it to be loose. But yeah, let me, I gotta do the rest of this. Okay, so let me finish this, then I'll be right back. I'm back, y'all. So, I took a little break to um, do some of my painting, and now I'm back. So, I let my curls drop. I didn't want them to be, like, I wanted that blowout look, so I didn't want them to be too tight. So, I let them drop, cool down. Um, So, it's been, like, I don't know, like an hour, maybe. And I have sprayed some of this generic Bayou product shaping spray. So this is comparable to the Sebastian Shaper hairspray. It's like a light hold on your curls, but it's not like that crunchy feeling. And I use this and the Sebastian Shape, um, it's called Sebastian Shaper hairspray and the results are comparable. So these are the curls. And if you want them to be tighter, you just um, 
like you can hold it up or put a pin in it so it cools in a tighter curl but yeah so this is the hair it's given like you know fresh blowout and I'm gonna brush it so <laughs> this is what I was looking for okay so it's like you know just easy breezy cute so what I like to do is put my um, sleepy tie in and I feel like whenever I do this to my hair and I wake up in the morning like it's even better than what it was when I went to uh, sleep so this is it and you can put that in a washer too yeah But y'all, this hair is beautiful. Okay, so for sleepy tie, like the tutorial on the website, they put the hair all the way to the top. But um, I don't. I get it. I try to get it as close to the top as I could. So I just bend my head back. And gather it like a little ponytail. I'm gonna brush it up. And the sleepy tie helps you. And you can see like my wig. But the sleepy tie helps your blowout last longer. So, and like, it's cute to sleep in too. So you just wrap, wrap it around the scrunchie. And then, Twist it. Y'all, I promise I never had this much trouble. Okay. So, you know, I'm going to pull this down so my wig ain't showing it too much. But the more I pull it back, the more, like, body I'm going to have. So I'm gonna pull it down a little bit. I don't want too much body. Then let me cover my tracks. Not that, you know, I'm just going to bed, so I don't have to look perfect, but you know, I want to look cute for me, but yeah, this is it. Okay, I want to eat. Um, happy Sunday! It's Sunday morning, y'all. <clears throat> and I'm getting ready to exercise. I still haven't decided if I'm going to try to, if I'm going to do my stepper or if I'm going to go to the gym and do that. Um, treadmill like trendy workout where it's like I think it's like 12 incline of 12 speed of 3 for 30 minutes I think I would do that because I've been thinking about it for so long I just want to know like how it makes me feel because I'm not a big sweater so I want to know like what make me sweat so I'm gonna take my sleepy tie out so here it is now if you want you can wear it to the gym but I just wanted to show y'all what it looks like in the morning. So, this is it. I didn't brush it or anything. Sorry, y'all. I gotta uh, do some dusting. Uh, you know my allergies are sensitive around this dust. I'm just looking at the dust in the air, y'all. 
I gotta put my air purifier on. I didn't put it on all yesterday. I try to run it at least once a day for two hours and that seems to help. But I didn't do it yesterday and I didn't do it the other the day before. Oh my gosh, Siobhan, what are you doing? But yeah, y'all, nice and wavy. It's looking cute. She had a bag. Cute, right? Okay, so it's just like you could just wake up and just go. So I do have the option of putting, since I'm going to go to the gym, I could do, do have the option of putting this little scrunchy thing on. I linked them on my Amazon storefront. It, it's basically a ponytail holder, but it doesn't cause creases in your ponytail. Or I can use this sleepy tie in a color black. It's so cute. This is their kind of like, I guess, sporty type one because it can absorb a little bit of water. So it's like, sorry, look at this piece of whatever. It's just like a piece of string. But um, yeah, so I think I'm gonna go with this scrunchie. But y'all, for those days, you don't really have much time to get ready in the morning. Doing a sleepy tie is like 10 out of a 10. I wear it every night because I don't want to have to do my hair in the morning for work. All right, here's a little ponytail. My edges, like, I know I don't really care too much about them. But this is the ponytail. I'm at least going to try to cover the wig a little bit. So I'm just going to my apartment, y'all. Nobody's probably going to be in there. So, yeah. This workout is not a joke. And you're not supposed to hold on, but I gotta hold on for a little second because if I'm not, I would be rolling to the ground. Okay, hands up. Whew. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Y'all, that workout, I literally just did the treadmill. Um, I'm washing dishes. Uh, so hopefully the dishwasher isn't too loud, but that workout, like I had to take a break after 20 minutes and then I, I was like, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to finish. Like, 20 minutes is fine. But then I decided to finish the 10 minutes and y'all, that is definitely a workout. So I am going to do it again because I feel good. Like I feel like I got a really good workout in, especially since I'm not doing anything else. Like I literally just did that. I didn't do like any like strength training or you know, like you know weightlifting nothing because that was crazy uh, also at some points i was doing 2.5 and 2 because when i got start doing that three i was losing my breath i said oh my goodness <clears throat> but now i'm home i'm about to eat um, and I put the dishwasher on because I realized like all my forks were dirty. Like, what the heck? And so now I'm using this fork. Good thing I had some. Well, I guess I could have I took them out, but I already stored the washer, so it was too late. Like I didn't want to stop the washer. So I make I got a salad here, 
but I more so want to show you the bowl. Isn't this bowl so cute? I got this from Ikea and this makes the salad look even better. So I just got some arugula in here, blueberries, tomatoes, mushrooms, um, some cheddar cheese, red onion. I got a um, Beyond Meat uh, burger and then a fried egg. So I feel like it just looks cute. I may or may not use that as a thumbnail, I don't know. But I feel like it just looks cute in the bowl and it makes me excited about eating. But yeah. I mean, now that I'm well nourished, <laughs> I can show you guys what I wore to the gym. And my gym outfit is new. I got it from Old Navy. I got a couple of things from Old Navy that I'm going to show y'all. And shout out to Jernica Marcia, who is a YouTuber. And I seen her latest video of Old Navy's, Old Navy's athleisure wear. And you can wear it, you know, to work out in and stuff. And I was like... I gotta have it because it looks so good on her. So I was thinking like, if I get some cute workout clothes, I would feel even more motivated to work out. So when I found out my package was delivered today, I ran and got it and went right to the gym. So I actually ordered all this stuff on Friday morning, like at 7 a.m. or something like that. And it came today, it's literally Sunday. And the shipping said three to five business days and literally no business days occurred because it was the weekend, but shout out to Old Navy. <laughs> so what I have on are these power, I think it's called um, power saw something. I'm gonna link them down below leggings and I ordered a size medium and they're very high waisted. So my belly button is here. And it goes all the way up here. I really like these because they, I like compression when I work out. Um, that's, I don't want anything to like slide down and stuff. And me getting these mediums, this and the medium size really help with things sliding down. So I got in the medium. I want a website that says size 8 to 10, which is my typical size that I wear. And then this is what it looks like from the back. So, yeah, I really like them. So, on um, dishes, y'all. Hopefully, it's not too loud. Then I have this bra on. Well, I wore this top over top of the bra that I ordered from Old Navy because um, I was a little bit chilly with my arms out. So, yeah. So, this is the shirt. I don't even know where I got this from. I had this for a long time. I just threw it on. So I got this bra, which I really, really like this. So this is in a size medium as well. So this is like a power, low power soft black. I'm gonna link it in the description box below. So it has actually an internal bra as well. So see this section here, this is separate from the top of the shirt. And I pulled this all the way down to cover my entire back. And so, not my entire back, but like this area here, it's covered all the way to down here. And then this is the top. It has adjustable straps and everything. And it's a, like, I love the compression. It does have pads in the bra, but you can take them out if you want to. So yeah, this is it. Sorry, there's an emergency. The shoes I wore are these Nike tennis shoes that I've had for a really long time. They're very comfy to walk in. I don't even know what they're called. I just, um, you know, bought them online and this is them. So yeah. I'm gonna get in the shower and then show y'all the rest of y'all. Well, it's got. way past me um, taking my shower. <laughs> it is literally Sunday night. I ate dinner and then I was been watching the show on Netflix. But yeah, now finally getting to this showing you the other outfits I bought from Old Navy. 
So I bought this uh, bodysuit. I guess that's what it's called. Here it is. First, let me get close so y'all can see the material. Same material as the leggings. I really like how it just, I don't know, it's very compressive, but not like I'm wearing a, um, a corset or anything like that. I just, it's the material that holds you in, but you're not suffocating. It doesn't have a bra inside, but it does like, you know, compress. So yeah, this is the back. So it is a low back. Can you guys see? I think it's so cute. I bought one with one shoulder too. Hold on, let me show y'all. Okay, so this one is super cute. Um, I feel supported even though it's one strap. It had this one actually has a bra inside, similar to the bra inside of the shirt I had. Let me go grab the shirt really quick. So the shirt I had on earlier, you know how I said like there was a bra than the top shirt. Like they're still together, but it's a whole separate section for the bra. So this is the bra. Um, that's it. And it has the padding in there and you can take the padding out. So the same is for this here, this one, this one shoulder onesie <laughs> or bodysuit. So the other bodysuit I had on the material is their power soft material, but this material is their power chill material. I like this a lot. Like somebody might wear this to the club. So here it is. This is so cute. Yeah, I like this. So, ooh, let me pull it up. But yeah, I do like this a lot. And then I also got a, um, a parka. Everything I have is in the size medium because I'm a medium type of girl. So this is very thin, like it's just a parka. And um, this is something you can throw on when going to the gym. or going grocery shopping real quick and you don't want to put like a coat coat on. So, it is pretty long on me. I'm 5'3". And when I say y'all, it's thin, like it's a parka, not a coat. Very thin. And then it has these bungee cords. I don't know what else to call them to cinch in the waist if you want. So, is that cute? Cute. So it looks like from the back. It does have a hood on it, so that's cute if it's raining. Oh, you can even make this smaller if it's raining real bad. Okay, let me try to zip it up. Oh, this is a cute coat. You know the ones that you can, like it has a zipper here, and then you can zip it from the bottom, like that. That's cool, but I probably won't be wearing it like that. But yeah, this is cute. Just keep the run your earrings in, earrings in. Run around like this, pull the sleeves up. Oh, I got so much to do today. Hold on, let me get a bag. I have so much to do today. Cute, right? Oh my gosh. So that's my little uh, Old Navy haul. Also, y'all, since I wasn't able to 
um, get my gloss from Anastasia Beverly Hills, I decided to bring out my NARS. This is the Orgasm um, Oil Infused Lip, Lip Tint. Like this moisturized my lips so much. I really do like their entire Orgasm collection. I even have the lip balm. That's cute too. Very moisturizing. And I put this lip oil on to go to the gym. And my lips were highly moisturized even when I came back. But look, it's a cute little glow. Cute. Okay, y'all. Um, I'm going to end the vlog off here. I hope you really enjoyed this weekend with me. I feel so much better. Like, I feel like, you know, I'm back to my consistent schedule. And I'm feeling more balanced. <laughs> and not discombobulated but anywho i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog please give it a thumbs up if you like it and if you're not subscribed to me please subscribe and thanks for watching peace and love